uh, off the bat, I want to talk about um, th- um, uh, just e- Evan. There's quick silver. Yeah. It's like, it like he's um, since people talking about like how how great his chemistry with um with Elizabeth is in this, and like you think about the idea of because it's not even like aside from just you know um. Aaron having already worked with her in um, Age of Ultron, like they've worked mm. together in a couple of things, Godzilla as well. Like they already have yeah. like, the sort of established chemistry that comes to you know, like playing brother and sister. But Evan is so good. He was great. He was really, really good in this episode. Like I think, um, and yeah, Mitch was saying before how like such a um is like playing this sort of crazy uncle role like so well. Yeah. It's like and um, what's his name? Uh, is it is it Julian? I think the kid is playing Tommy. He's he's yeah. really, really good. He's, he's great. Like, he was like, yeah, he's like sort of had like a bit of a sort of performance in the last episode, but like he sort of didn't really get much of a chance to stand out. But he mm. was basically he's carrying this episode for a lot of it. You know? Definitely. Well, I mean, with going continuing with Pietro, I mean, a lot of people and even I was thinking that it it's sort of starting to look like it might be Mephisto playing Pietro, yeah. um, or it might be Mephisto may have brought in, like Mitch said last week, he may have brought in the wrong Pietro, and sort of because of these realities are starting to sort of meld together, he has those final, or a few memories, but mostly the final memories of what the original MCU Pietro had, so obviously he remembers how he died, and then he just remembers being called by Wanda to come and see, come to this, like, reality, so it's interesting. And, yeah, a lot of people are either saying, like, he's either Mephisto or he's been sent in by someone to get intel because he keeps asking all these questions yeah, and keeps true. dodging questions. So sort of an interesting take on both, like, theories. But I don't know, like, there are some quips that people did point out, and I did go back and watch the episode this morning, and, yeah, a lot of people are saying, like, you know, he does say, like, devil spawn, raise hell. Not sure if it's a yeah. coincidence, but yeah. he also says... This is a really bad power of phrasing because I had to squish it on like my page of notes. But like I said, he well he said, "Damn it, if Westview isn't charming as hell," and I was like, mm, "Maybe, maybe it's go- it's like far fetched." But I mean, if it's like it's right in your face, it's like mm, it's a possibility. I'm definitely a big fan of the theory. I've seen a few people talking about that. It's gonna turn out that Wanda isn't really behind it all like to mm. some extent she like see, she thinks she is but it's like there's something greater to it oh definitely on. yeah and then um has this um um i was like there's just the like just the, the very nature of it sort of like you know narratively but speaking like sort of narrative perspective of it was was it was um it was like two episodes ago really was when they sort of like had the thing of like monica saying that yeah it's all wanda it's like she's doing it all she's doing mm. everything that's like yeah it's all her. and it's like nah come on no. this is one of those it has to like, be you, you don't, like it, that's not a that's not a big surprise thing to learn because that's kind of what we're thinking at the start that's why yeah we, that's what we set up there and we're gonna then find it actually no there's another there's no there's somebody else and even i was thinking like sort of what you just said, I've just suddenly thought about it too. Like, like uh, again, like, because so many people are saying Mephisto has to be behind it. Because, again, he's connected to, like, so many characters in the MCU. Yeah. It just seems obvious with the path that they're going on that it has to be him. So it's like... That was the other thing, that Hellspawn line that someone mentioned. Of, mm. um, what was it? I um, said, um, were they like, describing the twins as Hellspawn when in, like, their original first comics appearance they turned in, there were fragments of Mephisto's soul that he had Oh and, yeah, uh, you did say that. Wanda wanted to create kids, and then. Ooh, so it's like, maybe uh, that's interesting. That is actually good. What I was going to say was like, oh, what was I going to say? Hold on, brain, rewind. What was I going to say? Oh yeah. Um. So if it is Mephisto, he like you know he may have given this like you know deal with her, but he also may be just fueling her desire to keep this reality. Yeah. Um. And just he may have some sort of control over her, but in reality, like maybe maybe one well Wanda obviously wants this. She wants this p- perfect life with Vision, the love of her life, and obviously her kids and her brother. But like maybe. I'm not sure in the next few episodes, definitely not in the next episode, but maybe in the final two episodes, we may see sort of like that sort of like knowledge of her sort of going like, oh shit, what am I doing? But then it goes back to her being like sort of like obsessive and just really like out of control. Um, So it's going to be interesting to see what sort of take like happens from this like 
moment forward because we don't I don't think because I haven't watched that trailer that came out recently so I actually am going in blind well you and me you and me we're going in blind we don't know what the heck's gonna happen so who knows I just want them to go crazy though because they've gone crazy so far just go all the way I don't I don't care just do what you want to do I'm like so open for it I think the thing um talking about like sort of Wanda having like a sort of realization about everything I reckon um there's definitely something up with Pietro. Oh, and, definitely, like, reckon, yeah. Because, like, the the fact that he's sort of, like, after she, like, was, like, she, like, had fought with, you know, Vision about it last week and then was sort of, like, you know, potentially having some doubts here and there. Mm. And then he comes along to, and reassures her about it, you know. It, yeah, he's reassuring, like, like, saying, oh, it's no, okay. No, this is yeah. This is all cool. This is okay. It's like, yeah. oh buddy no it's not okay yeah. so yeah monica's going to have her powers yes i was gonna say that yeah. also connecting to that too i saw i did again homework on reddit and then people were saying that means like if this reality is reversed and it goes back to normal what if this and this is sort of connecting to your theory that happened i think in episode three of the aftermath you said something about it i remember but it could lead to like mutants being involved in the MCU yeah. properly because obviously we have seen Monica's DNA altered. So it's like, uh, hmm, okay. So yeah, it's. I think that's a possibility too. Like properly, like the beginning of the MCU X Men universe, sort of like beginning. So I think that's going to be interesting. So I saw this um, earlier on Twitter. Someone just pointed out the thing. I thought this just hadn't even. I hadn't even realized this yet. The idea that uh, Billy and Tommy are the they're the first characters in the MCU to be born naturally with powers. Oh, so, true that. I mean, yeah, it's just Mitch summarized it in a simple way. It's like, yeah. um, Wanda and Pietro, they may have been like sort of enhanced in some mm. way. Maybe they had latent powers that were then yeah. unlocked by the Mind Stone. Who knows? But at the very least, Tommy and Billy are like, they're just properly. They're like properly born with, with powers. Yeah. yeah. Talking about the idea of someone sort of setting up this sort of reality for Wanda and her then kind of thinking it's her and doing another mm. like that sort of thing. I saw someone um basically summarized like so th- um the Yo Magic ad, right? That yeah. How- okay. Or probably one of the darkest ones yet, I'd say. Or like not sort of like in the kind of like what's the word, the sort of twee hidden way that they've done mm. in the past of like it's like, oh yeah, if you know, you know sort of thing like and this one was more just like you're watching the thing. What the hell? Yeah. But, it's yeah, very it's like, like ugh yeah. yeah. Uh, and so someone point out the idea of okay, so Wanda's she's alone. She's cut off everyone else, like the kid alone on the island. Mm-hmm. Someone comes along and says, "Hey, use your oh, magic." Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, then and then the people saying as well, like the bit of when the kid then sort of like starves and wastes away without the amount of sleep. So it's that to like with vision, the same as how like yeah, he'll he'll probably without. Without Wanda, they're keeping him, you know, yeah. alive and in the same and the reality, he'll probably just like he'll fall apart and die. Yeah. Anyway. And even it sort of it sort of hints at like without Wanda, yeah, vision will wither. But also it sort of shows like if Wanda continues, she will wither too, because she's yeah, just definitely. using her powers to this incredible state. Because now it's obvious that she's one of the most powerful superheroes, like in the MCU, obviously it was shown in like endgame and stuff but like this is different like this is yeah. like obviously like being pushed by something else and we can see like it's soon enough it's going to come to a point where she's just like draining like maybe on the edge of madness and just it's going to be interesting how she looks like at that like state where she's just extending all this magic and just expending yeah. it it's gonna be interesting i just i want them to go all the way because i want to see her like and again like i mean a lot of people are making comparisons to this and game of thrones compared to the craziness oh, yeah, 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 that yeah. happened with daenerys like i feel like they've done it perfectly like because like they're not showing that she's even crazy or mad it's just like she's yeah in love with her husband she wants this perfect reality and it's not even showing that she's crazy she just wants perfection it's just like she just wants this perfect life this is what she wants so this way it's done so beautifully and just like i can't wait to just see more like i want to see more of this obsessive side of wonder because even like when you see it even in this episode it's just done in hints little little hints like and it builds up and it comes to that moment where she like throws pietro across the the town and then she like extends the perimeter so yeah i just i can't wait to see like like the the change in her behavior in the next few episodes (laughs) 
There's oh a, my god. There's a thing I always find with the sort of village and or, um, villain origin stories, so to quote, I'm um, so, so to speak, or like, it's sort of more recently become the meme of like, yeah, this is my Joker origin story. <laughs> like that, of, um, there's always this sort of predetermined sort of feel about them, of it's sort of like, there's, we kind of, you, you get the feel of like, it's, it doesn't some often, very, very rarely does it feel completely like a sort of natural progression yeah like of like sort of of someone just like slowly becoming a sort of a villain and that sort of thing it's sort of more like you have the sort of predetermined nature that they're then the story and the characters just then are trying to keep up with and that sort of thing mm. i'd say that was kind of like the big main thing with uh dan Reese in game of thrones so like mm. there wasn't really a natural progression so yeah speak, of you know a same same arguably with anakin becoming vader in the prequels. That's true, like, yeah. It's something that we see a lot more of that development happen through the prequels, but sort of yeah. like it's one of those things like just like he ha he has to go from where we see him to becoming a villain and it's sort of like whereas with Wonder it's almost like the thing I would I would wonder of like were they as they were writing it, were they sort of like deciding, okay, so probably maybe having multiple endings planned for like the series of like different mm. ways, like, okay, so what do we want to do? Do we want to have her go bad? So in quotes at the end of it, mm. or have her be redeemed at the end of it. Which way do we want to go? And it's sort yeah. of just one of those things where it doesn't feel like, oh yeah, this is her villain villain origin story straight up. It's more like, yeah, we don't we actually don't know. Yeah, like, like we'll I, see where it goes. Yeah. yeah. There's people theorizing that. So yeah, with uh, Doctor Strange too is like, what is it going to be? Strange going up against the villain, whoever they are, and Wanda at their side. Or mm. is it going to be Strange and Wanda going up against that villain after everything that they had done in WandaVision? Mm. Or, you know, it's like, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell. It's yeah, same like, here. That's yeah. the thing, yeah. It's just, it's done in such an interesting way that I would, and it's sort of, it's hard to tell as well, like, sort of, like, thinking, even looking at it from the sort of narrative perspective, you think, okay, what would be more interesting? Wanda mm. as a villain, or but then we've already had her as sort of a villain kind of manipulated into working against the heroes by someone mm. else that's what happened in yeah. Ultron. And then it's sort of like, would it be seeing her like sort of fully like she's the powerful one now? I and mean, that's sort of like sort of thing. That would that would be interesting to see. But then it would be. be interesting to see this one time where she's jumped the gun in terms of knowing like no wait, yeah, there's you're in the wrong here. I am going to like actively be working against against you. Yeah. To try and stop you working with the good guys to do that. Mm. It's like both of them would be just as interesting to see. Oh, definitely, yeah. As well in the story. So even in that respect, it's like I have no idea which direction they're going to go. And that's one of the things, like, aside from, like, all the mystery of, like, the whole mystery box aspect of, like, everything that's going on in WandaVision, that's some, one thing I'm really, really looking forward to of what's going to happen then. Of Like, okay, so, yeah, which way are they going to go? I honestly have no idea. Probably going to be some mixture of both, I would say. Yeah, I think it will be interesting because, like you said, we have seen her sort of, like, as an anti-hero villain in Age of Ultron. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it would be interesting to see if she does sort of come the side, not side character, but, like, the second-hand villain in, like, the second Doctor Strange. But it also would be cool to kind of see her under someone else's manipulation because she's always been the one in control, so maybe, like, someone else is in control. But at the same time, if it is the villain that we think it is, I do want to see him in action a lot more than just him controlling somebody else. If it is going to be sort of, like, obviously Wanda does become a villain that's in that movie, I would like to see if they do sort of get a handle of her, that that's sort of resolved in the first or second act, yeah. and then in the third act it's, like, just the main oh, villain. Yeah, yeah. Right. instead of it just being the whole movie about Wanda. As much as I would love that, but yeah. it is Doctor Strange and he does have to, like, fight different villains, especially who are against him, so I think it would be interesting to see. Yeah, again, you can't really tell, because it's yeah. like, I would love to see her as just a villain, or I would like to just see the villain and her. But it's interesting. Or her is a good character, again. But, again, it's like, it, you don't know where it's going. So it's it's going to be interesting to see what direction they take it. Uh, the engineer, aerospace engineer, any further theories? Because I saw there was, yeah, a bunch of people theorizing about that the other day. And all the people thinking about, like, Reed or Sue, but then I saw someone suggest the um, thing, because I thought, Actually, I like that. I'm personally like sort of in favor of that. Someone said, "What if it's um uh, fits from Agents of Shield?" Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, thinking, even if, or uh, even like um, yeah. Depending on like, so like, I'd say I'm like about 
sixty to seventy percent sure it's a, um it's um as as a guy. I mean like oh I yeah, know, like, I again, think it is yeah. Six in the term guy is like that's <laughs> but yeah but then but then it's like even if it's yeah if it's Fitz or Simmons it's like yeah, 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 yeah. see that yeah I reckon a lot of people um, are saying Reed like Mister Fantastic yeah. so it's like that would be cool. Like, I wouldn't be against it, but I do like the theory we came up with that they wake up in yeah. space. So yeah. I'm sort and of like. Still out there before they're going to get back to Earth a little bit exactly. later. Exactly. So I was like, like mm. but at the same time, it would be really, really cool if that happened to happen, like now. Yeah. So, uh, well, well, yeah, I'm just excited to see who it is because they keep bringing it up. So it's like, yeah. dude, we, we know you're trying to build this up. Who is this person? So I'm guessing, like, Maybe this is the actor that everybody's been talking about. Uh, maybe we kind of might be wrong maybe, about the Magneto yeah. thing. That still would have been cool. I reckon um, next episode's when, I mean, like, we've seen, like, the things have, like, escalated in each episode. The next episode is, like, um, I know that we usually say the predictions side of things once, but this is less predictions. This is more just, like, this is what I reckon, just based on the flow of everything, this is going to happen now. Of, um, mm -hmm. So Darcy's in the field now. Yes. And I reckon Vision will probably find her pretty quickly and, you know, do his thing. Definitely, and yeah. They'll then be working from, like, inside the field trying to find a way out of it. Unlike yeah. everybody else who, you know, sort of, like, really no help to him in sort of, like, in that because like, yeah. they're all just, like, seemingly all just, like, pulled in here, have no idea of what's going on. So Darcy has been researching it for the last few weeks and so on, and she's been out there the whole time, so... He'll like, he'll yeah, she'll really be able answers, to give him so. some answers, yeah. And then, so I reckon he'll be cutting back and forth between maybe it'll be the sort of thing of Vision and Darcy trying to, like, sort of hide and, like, sort of evade Wanda mm. in the yeah in, the, in Westview, perhaps, while then Monica and Jimmy meet up with their contact, whoever yeah. it is. Um, but, like, I reckon I next week for sure is when they're turning up i reckon because it's sort of i hope so yeah and specifically as a yeah okay yeah they're gonna meet us over the ridge so you know they're towing the line so brilliantly in the show that's either i can oh yeah of definitely favorite things about it is like there's so many things where it's sort of you look at one thing you think okay are they doing this or are they doing that is this suggesting this or is it suggesting that i honestly don't know it's one of mm. the two but it's sort of it's just the, the line is towed so perfectly that you can't tell you know yeah they do it so well, and like going off of that VFX, this episode was oh, incredible, yeah. so good, and just so like I don't know, it was just so effortless. Like especially with like the transitions, and just mm. especially the end of the episode, that was so well done. And even just like the other part, which is just like the acting from the extended ensemble cast and just the extras who did like just like the frozen acting like especially with that woman who was crying and they I put know, that for like seems... two minutes and i was like it's so like it's creepy to watch but at the same time it's just so well done and just like it's and someone said it as well it's the perfect example of showing not telling yeah. and just it's again like they've made like a a masterpiece of just like such a simple concept but with such creepiness and just like comedy to it and it's just so unique and i really really hope it gets the sort of like reward reap the rewards of what they've made yeah. with like you know nominations and wins hopefully um because we know that <laughs> and someone made fun of it the other day too like it's been like so long since avengers didn't get like oscars for like the amazing vfx and the acting etc so i do hope that especially with the shows that they do get awards for it because it's just so well done there was um i was gonna say it's one thing i sort of i find to think about the show is like there's there's like this real sort of like it's not like a sort of complete dedication to visual storytelling in a way that's like what's the word like um completely unlike anything else i just thought it's more of like it just has the feel of a comic like so there's so mm. many yes of, like how how scenes are structured how things play out is like you just it's almost like this is like just like lifted straight from a panel mm. of like sort of how different things would be done and like you can imagine like the different splash pages of like you know like so like the bit when when vision like sort of changes out of his you know halloween costume yes. into like his form you just like imagine that as like this would be like a big single page artwork of like you know he's yeah, like, like halfway up, like, art as, yeah yeah i know it's like there's so much of it where it's it's like you can almost imagine it's like um i know that they i'm i'm honestly like surprised they don't do this as a thing of like um 
there's all the stuff they do with, for the Star Wars Marvel comics and so on. Mm -hmm. There's so many of those, but that's the big thing they took to doing of they would do like a six part comic adaptation of each of the different films and so on. Ah. Whenever the films released. I'm surprised they don't do that for the MCU because that'd be great. I love yeah, it would be of like sort of seeing just like seeing each film just like recounted in comic style, you know. And it would be, it's, yeah, definitely. It's almost weird to think about the idea of, yeah, the Marvel comics films have less of a presence in Marvel comics than Star Wars does, you know. Yeah. So it's like they have the preludes every now and then, which is sort of like it's just like a kind of little mini story and bit of recounting of mm. this film. But like I want to I want to see more like stuff. I'd be I'd Marvel listen see. here. Alex yeah. has a great idea for you. Yeah. You got great start. marketing. Yeah, just start to yeah. Iron Man won a graphic novel. You know. Oh, I would buy it so badly. It's like, oh, I love graphic novels so much. Yeah. So I would just like have it all on like a wall, especially yeah. for Marvel. Uh, one thing I um I was mentioning that um the uh the the kick ass call out that I had. Yes. Because like yeah, I I knew that I knew that Aaron's in it. I forgot that Aaron and Evan are both in it. Yeah. So it's like, oh wait, oh shit, oh cool. <laughs> And he tries to steal his identity in that too, so... Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's why yeah. a lot of people are like, wait, is that how he stole Pietro's, re yeah. like, appearance? And it's like, oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> One little side note about that of um, something I saw people um, um, theorizing about on Reddit the other day. Mm -hmm. and, like, this is just, like, a little interesting thing of, like, a jury's still out on what the deal is with Pietro. We'll find mm. out going ahead. But someone said, okay, so here's just, like, a little working theory based on how I could go, of, um, what if it's that, so it's, it's Aaron's Pietro's mind in, in, like, sort of in, um, um, Evan's Pietro's body, and, like, it's mm -hmm. a little different to, like, sort of what you would see as the classic example of, sort of, like, multiverse jumping. Yeah. Sort of, like, this isn't, it's more like, it's almost like, I think they said there's, like, a show or a film or something that does it in this sort of way, of, like, where version, people, someone from an alternate universe can only exist in this universe, when if like they don't have a counterpart here that's ah, what that makes because sense there is no quicksilver here in this mm -hmm. universe then quicksilver from the other universe can be here yeah that's what i was but thinking his, too but his identity is like it's just like let's like his 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 soul mind is, isn't his own his soul isn't brought over just his body that yeah sort of thing. but i like it it's like, i think it's, it's unique way. because yeah. obviously we do have that traditional version so it would be cool to see like a unique way of looking at it so i think like looking at it in this perspective, it's very different, and I like it. So, yeah. and a lot of people seem to like it too. Like, obviously, it's yeah. a little bit confusing, but as long as the writing is well done and you know it's sort of explained a little bit for the audience to sort of understand, especially the younger people, because they'll be like, yeah. "What the heck is going on?" But then, like, <laughs> like for the adults, will be like, "Oh, cool, we get it." So, I think it'll be awesome as as long as the writing's well done. Is if they're doing it in the film, but I think in this, it's. I think it's like two and two. We might get more answers in the next episode. So say it's kind of what we've seen with Pietro so far is like he mm. sort of he remembers dying. Yeah, but like he well, like he doesn't like he didn't joke about it. Well, I mean that's the thing. You wonder did he actually he, he didn't actually refer to himself dying and he referred to himself getting shot. Yes, shot doesn't mean dying. You know, it's like oh yeah, I remember getting shot and passing out. And it's mm. like you know. But then it's like with his, 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 he's obviously an extreme case of like this sort of thing. Like what's yes. going on here? So hopefully we'll get more answers in the next episode. Yeah. Another thing is just quickly touching on that, like the accent part where yeah. she was like, What happened to your accent? And he was like, What happened to yours? And it's like, mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that's another thing, like throwing the question back at Wanda. Obviously, we're going a bit off topic. We should have talked yeah. about that before, but still, like, whatever but like yeah. i mean like it's interesting because yeah because even the way she reacted after she was like oh yeah, yeah i don't have the accent anymore <laughs> so I it's like it's actually, that's what it is that's part of the thing with um mm. Pietro. it's like he comes along and wanders questioning his authenticity mm. but his whole thing is he then flips it back on it about questioning her authenticity of like you're saying oh you th you're saying i'm not being the real pietro well is this <laughs> Well, the, the you're real, to talk yeah, to like, like you you're know, not, like, like yeah, that, that is American true. Housewife, you know? that's very true. Yeah, so, like you're not being authentic. Yeah, yeah. but you want me I to be like yeah. oh hundred percent authentic. Even, yeah, I haven't even thought about it from that perspective. Just like he's sort of like his whole thing is like he comes in and he is a mm. he is an artificial recreation of Pietro. Exactly. And he's sort of like he just like the very nature of how he exists in this world 
is a way of like pointing out Wanda's hypocrisy. Yeah. And pointing out like, you know, it's like she's saying like if he if she thinks that he isn't really Pietro, then mm. like you're saying, well then what are you really Wanda? Is that Yeah, really exactly. This? And what is, is all really? what is all this? Yeah. You know, it's not real. Like yeah. this wasn't what it was before. So and even just yeah, again with the whole thing of that last line that he said, that's also another big like thing where it's like you can't do it twice. You can't yeah. bring him back twice. That's very like interesting. And I hope we get to see whether it's more of him sort of like throwing it back at her or maybe she throws it back at him. It's gonna be interesting. And like again, the reaction of her, I think it's gonna become more and more aggressive, especially after yeah. what we saw in this episode. So it's gonna be interesting to see that progression in the next episode in the last two it's not gonna be a two part finale, but it's two final episodes. I yeah. mean like arguably the whole series it's a nine part the whole series mm. is a nine part episode. So yeah, like, that's you know, true. But um because I mean, you, we end on a cliffhanger every week. It's Literally, like, I don't know what they could do further to make it it's, into a again. It's again like a comic book, like every yeah, exactly. week a cliffhanger, leaving yeah. you for the next part. Right, uh, pr predictions, predictions for next week. We've already predictions. Made some of them, but... Um, hmm. Well, now it is the early two thousands. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised if we got some Backstreet Boys <laughs> and stuff <laughs> and sync, but uh, um, but. Oh, I don't really know because again we're going into the dark, so it's yeah. like early two thousands. I'm next week's I, going to be the Modern Family slash Office mm. style episode. All right, yeah. The earlier trailers is like a few bits of like from the sort of in the Modern Family style episode, which is like you know, next week's one. Mm -hmm. I, got, I just realized what it's going to be about. Of like, well, um, there's oh. like a couple of shots where you see Wanda so like just walking around the house and you see like stuff changing, like the oh. TV changes what decade it's from, and so like just. Oh, world. is that like from the first teaser we got, where some of it's black it's and white, and then she's in color? Yeah, I think yeah. it's going to be that as she's expanded the field, as she's expanding her power more, she's losing control of it and things. Like All right, prediction. This is the direction they're going to go in. As she mm -hmm. loses control of of it, she's going to. Um, the field is going to just start growing naturally. Like it's sort of a bit like the kind of like in Spider-Man 2, the idea of like when the, you know, the fusion reactor becoming self-sustaining. Ah, uh, like, yeah. It's almost like as she's making it, the field, as she's making the hex more powerful, it's kind of like... It's just taking a life it's of its own. to the point of existing a little bit independently of her and then actively draining her to stay, Ooh. To stay around. That's and that is I very much connected to the ad that we saw yeah, that too. in this week's episode. So it could definitely be that. Um, I definitely think like it'll be interesting to see what happens with Vision if he remembers yeah. going through the field and seeing what he did. And then obviously if he does run into Darcy and remembers like, oh shit, I remember you. And then like wakes her up and like she helps him. So that's mm -hmm. also going to be a big like part of the episode, I think, and whether Wanda finds out and her reaction, if it happens in this episode, but it'll be interesting to see what exactly happens, especially with the tension rising between Wanda and Vision, like, especially because he knows the truth. And even in this episode, we didn't get to talk about it before, but even he was like taunting her a little bit saying like, you know, that's the only costume I had in my closet. And, you know, yeah. you wanted it to be this way, but I want to do this. And it's just like, yeah. Oh, okay. Things are not too good at the moment. There's some uh, not too good, but it'll be interesting to see, like, if that's taken a step further, or if Vision may have forgotten what happened and happens to remember it while he sees Darcy maybe in town. So that's going to be interesting to see. I've got a wild prediction. Uh, Darcy's mm -hmm. going to get powers. Darcy? Oh yeah, I definitely think I so. Reckon, like, but yeah, I'm just also I'm curious about also. I don't think we spoke about it. I'm not sure if we spoke about it before, but Haywood, like, I'm also really yeah. curious about why he was tracking Vision. I saw someone had of, um, when he showed the footage of Wanda breaking in and stealing Vision, mm -hmm. it's like, someone's, I think, all right, uh, it's not doctored, the footage, but they reckon that like, he's not explaining the whole thing. Mm. Yeah. And, like, it's something that they got Vision's body and they were planning on reverse engineering yeah. and making a weapon out of him or something. And Wanda broke in to get him out and to stop to stop them from doing yeah. that. And some people like thinking like going to like a little further to an extent they said, okay, is he trying to reverse engineer Ultron from Vision or something? You know, is he could he just be like because as well, Sword is the was it the sentient weapons observation group and like the idea yeah. of, like Vision's a sentient weapon pretty much. Mm. And then and like Wanda was created as a sentient weapon as well by Hydra. 
yeah you know, the theory something like is he like connected to hydra is he connected is he like one of strucker's former allies you know yeah he's somebody but then that was like when people were originally theorizing that he's after wanda but no i think he's after vision yeah thing. because even after a lot vision. of people were like they were saying yeah. like he's either adamant on killing wanda or yeah. and this sort of made me wonder if he does survive if he does get involved in the Sentinel program, if they are really bringing maybe, mutants. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I thought that was interesting. But at the same time, I was like, eh, we're still not sure about the extent of the X-Men like merged yeah. with the MCU. Like, obviously, it's a big thing that Evan Peters is even there. But yeah. to the extent of mutants being involved, it would be interesting to see if that does happen. Hopefully, we do get sort of like a nod to it maybe towards the end of the season. Um, but sort of like you said, he is definitely after Vision. He's very interested in like him and vibranium so like yeah. mm, I, I i i wonder what his deal is because i don't like him i wanted him to be sucked into that reality and just yeah. i don't know something happened to him but like i i yeah i just i want to find out what his deal is and hopefully we do actually get some answers to that and i think we will towards the end of the season i've got a random theory that's like um yeah go for it uh so there's a thing someone said recently, like a thing about um, Falcon Winter Soldier. It's like they said the thing that part of the plot line in the story is going to be the idea of Zemo sort of against superhumans, and so like we've already seen that through like yeah. Civil War. The Civil idea, War. Like, is sort of that they said the idea is that we're going to double down on this sort of like <sighs> me men versus gods, sort of like almost like the sort of Batman versus Superman sort of storyline they had of Lex like, Luthor. The idea that. Hopefully Zemo, done a lot better. <laughs> yeah, Zemo is kind of championing this sort of idea of like, he thinks that superhumans just cause problems mm. and so on. And arguably, based on like everything he's been through, that's like 100% true. That is true, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it's a sort of something like um often talked about a lot in Spider-Man comics, the idea of like all these you know, costume villains start coming out of the woodwork as soon as Spider-Man comes along. Mm. Often talked about as like, same deal with Batman. And then same in like the MCU overall of like yeah all of these oh, yeah, super villains start coming along at the same time as the superheroes start coming along. This is something they elaborated quite a bit on in Avengers One. Yeah, uh, of, like when Fury says this all started because Thor arrived in New Mexico, and it's like if he can come here and mess all this shit up, then who else then can? Everybody you know? can, yeah. And so it's um I reckon Haywood is probably part of that greater movement of people against superhumans and so yeah. on. whatever he's up to with vision is something like to like a like an even greater extent of what's like a sort of like people versus mutants yeah story. maybe it is going to be something kind of like sentinels yeah kind of like out of it and i think like instead of it yeah again like you said not just mutants it'll be like all superheroes like every single one and i think that'll be interesting especially if they are merging the two universes together it's it'll be easier to just say superhuman than just mutants because all of these people have different like um powers and whether it's that like genetically changed or if it's just like powers given to them by like gods or blah 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 like that's still all under one class of being different than the normal human being so yeah. It'll be interesting. And also, I was even thinking, like, this could also be a window for General Ross to come in yep. and take Haywood under his wing and be like, dude, yeah. I like you. You don't like superhumans. I don't like them. You come with me and we do bad shit together. <laughs> and that's how they set up the Thunderbolts then. Exactly. Um, but, um, yeah, it's um, worth noting as well that, yeah, that other, that person that had this, like, the leaks they were claiming about um, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, they said that, they said that everything the Zemo is doing in the show directly carries on from a thing from one division so they won't explain what that is but you'll you'll know what it is when it happens <coughs> mutants uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well we'll yeah. see we'll all see right. all right uh thank you everyone for joining us see you again next week hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, for the children for the children bye everyone there actually were children in this episode they were <laughs> <laughs>